All right. Um, clearly, growth um, is, is an important word after the, the long crisis that we have been uh, suffered in, in, in Europe. And, and clearly, this sector has a lot of potential. Um, I, I'm, as I said before, um, I represent, I'm the Director General of this Federation of uh, Confindustria Innovative and Technological Services. Um, and we, uh, we have 35 association members and 40 provincial offices, a part of our network. Um, we, we have invested a lot of time uh, in European policy making in Brussels, uh, participating uh, to uh, do two, two high-level groups, one, one on service innovation uh, that was set up in 2011 and one on business services. Um, and we are also a member of the Digital Economy Task Force of Business Europe, that is the organization that represents industry at European level. Why, why have we done that? Um, uh, be, because we, we think that um, the, the transition um, to digital is, 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 is a huge opportunity, but um, there are, there are a lot of problems that has to be addressed, and one, one of the problems is that there are a lot of SMEs that are the real, the, the, where, where, where a lot of innovation is, and um, in order to activate this innovation, uh, you need a lot of expertise, you need a lot of what we call the knowledge economy, and a lot of this expertise is not resident in just one sector or one company, but is uh, resident in a, a lot of different sectors that have to uh, work together and provide a set of knowledge that a company needs in order to become fully digital or a startup to become uh, a, a fully fledged company. Um, the, the, the impact of digitalization is uh, huge. Um, in, in, in the cultural sector, um, creative industries like, for instance, for, for, for printing and, and editing and music, uh, music, you have already seen what, what that has meant. Um, uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a new, it's a completely new ball game, and this shift of business models is, is quite complicated, uh, particularly for um, existing companies that have been working um, in, in a certain way for, for, many, for many years. Um, uh, in Europe, uh, as you see, there is a lot of fragmentation in the level of, uh, of, um, of maturity, uh, of digital maturity. Um, as you can see, there are uh, big differences. Uh, here here in, the, in the slide, it is, uh, has been produced by Boston Consulting Group. There is not only Europe, there is the world, because it is actually global challenge that we have to respond to, uh, but you see that there are big, big differences also within the different European, European states. And that's why uh, it is important also to work at European level, um, to find a way to push everybody in the right direction. Um, and, and in order to do this, you have to um, go beyond the national initiatives that are taking place in, in, in several member states and try all to move on the high intensity, e intensity um, uh, uh, level. Um, this is an example that uh, is a study that McKinsey made on, uh, on uh, digital manufacturing. Um, why am I talking about manufacturing is because uh, there is a lot of talking in, in, right in these days. Yesterday the commission came to Business Europe to present their initiatives in order to speed up the transition of manufacturing to, di to fully digital. Um, but I find a lot of these, uh, 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 many points of this approach that could be fit very well for the cultural and creative industry. Uh, because the first thing that you have to understand is that all these productivity increases that you can have they are touching upon all the activities of a company. So if you're, if you're a new co, if you're a startup, clearly you start with the, you know, digital natives that uh, start fully digital. So the problem 
that they have is, is, is of a different sort, is how to grow uh, quickly, uh, and so how to have, as it was rightly said, a regulatory environment that doesn't stifle your innovation, uh, that helps your company to get to a point where you can make revenues and then perhaps be at that point a little bit more regulated. Uh, but the important thing is to help these new new codes to, 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 to start and grow quickly, as, at least as quickly as they do in, in the States, for instance. Uh, this applies more to established companies, companies that are already there, but they have to change their way of doing in order to be competitive in the new uh, digital business environment. Um, and it is important to understand that all these different areas of value creation in a company um, are touched and are, have to change uh, uh, through different ways of doing things because of, of digitalization. Yeah, so this is to prove that you need a convergence of competences that perhaps were not uh, the same that you were using for your traditional business. So it's not just IT, it's IT, is consulting, is uh, energy efficiency, because if you, if you are a, a, a 4.0 comp digital company, you need to be um, efficient in everything that you do, is, is, is skills, is labor, is, is time to market, how to quicken and up, how to, to have the right competences to create new products, how to have a different relation with your, uh, with your customers or suppliers. Um, so all this needs a set of skills that normally you don't find in one single company. So that's some, some, something of a challenge um, that we have to, to find answers to. Um, so it's, it's really a revolution. is a revolution that is moving very quickly um, and uh, these steps of rethinking the business model, redesigning the, the system in which you produce your products. Now for manufacturing, they are physical products. For culture, they can be physical, but they can also be not physical. Um, and how to reshape your, your, all, your, all, uh, your all company. Uh, also finding perhaps different ways to invest, to find new sources of finance for your new businesses. And there is also a problem of um, understanding of the financial sector about these opportunities. Because they know very well the old businesses, uh, if you want to build, uh, to, make, to build a building, to make a, a, a real estate investment, you go with your business plan and they know how to uh, how to rate it uh, if you want to start uh, a new uh, um, production of of, uh, of books uh, perhaps they know how to rate it but if you start if you go with a new way of uh, through e-commerce to to sell your digital content that you get from Europeana and, and make it user uh, giving them a value, a market value, then perhaps your traditional um, banker uh, is a little bit lost. Uh, he doesn't know how this could create value. Uh, so I think there is a work that has to be done, uh, also European level, to create experts into the financial sector that are able to see and, 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 um, and uh, evaluate and finance uh, new businesses in, into the digital age. Um, here there is another concept that we'll talk with, uh, with the questions that I ask, is also the, the role of private and public. Uh, so far, when you, uh, you talk about culture and cultural heritage, clearly there is a huge role of public authorities. They, they own most of the heritage. Uh, they have uh, protected, they have uh, made it available uh, for, for many, many years. So there is a big presence there. There is also a big presence of um, other institutions. There is a big uh, presence of universities. Um, but the, 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 the challenge is how to um, increase the presence of the industry. If you want to create new value, you have to uh, be able to create 
spaces, opportunities for the industry to come in. Um, the work that Europeana is doing uh, of collecting um, informations, data, pictures, etc., contents is fundamental, but you have to find a way to create a market around it. Otherwise, this thing will stay there. Perhaps we have seen with MOOC you now the importance of using this context to do from universities to, uh, but there they have to convince the teachers to do it. So that's marketing. Huh? Now, perhaps uh, companies that were into uh, producing books for students, uh, they could get engaged into uh, uh, finding solutions for, for this. Um, so skills is another issue, connectivity is an issue, uh, because as you know, it, it is not always of the quality that we would like, and here there is also perhaps a place for public intervention where uh, private companies are not, uh, particularly for areas where we call where there, there is a, a market failure in which you don't have enough users eh, to make that sustainable, but the connection must be there. Um, and then there is issues of uh, cyber security and, and how to use data. And uh, um, So the, the, the initiatives for manufacturing that the Commission is putting forward are these, uh, is to create the digital innovation hubs, to create digital platforms, to work on digital skills. Um, to work on data and, 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 and regulation, liabilities, etc., but also trying not to stifle new to defend the old. Huh? Uh, must be a level playing field, but you cannot stifle innovation. So the, 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 the question uh, is a little bit how to, how to achieve that uh, and how to um, be able to accelerate the um, to accelerate growth in this sector with, uh, with the private um, uh, sector involvement.